Recent enhancements to NCBI's Sequence Viewer can be found in the release notes and include better ways to display discrepancies between genomic sequence and annotated features. These discrepancies can occur because RefSeq gene models, based on the current genomic sequence, can differ from RefSeq transcripts and corresponding proteins that come from our continuous curation efforts. Let's look at a few examples of the new rendering for such discrepancies. In the first example, I'm zoomed in on a portion of chromosome 1 from ZMA's cultivar B73, and we've added markers for a codon mismatch. There are four codons here with mismatches a coding sequence, or CDS deletion, and a CDS insertion, all in an exon of a gene. This view also shows the RefSeq alignments track with mismatches in red. The new renderings in this case are codons below the protein object. If red, there is a mismatch in one of the three bases. Red codons could represent either synonymous or non-synonymous amino acid changes. Amino acid single letter codes on the protein, the red bar, these are present only when the amino acid is changed. Transcript bases on the RNA, the purple bar, these display only when the transcript sequence differs from the genomic. Dashes on the RNA and protein bars, these represent deletions relative to the genomic sequence. And hourglass-like triangles in the RNA and protein bars, these represent insertions relative to the genomic sequence. Now let's look at a special case, that of ribosomal or translational slippage. In this example, we are looking at a region of Suscrofa chromosome 9, and we've added a marker called slippage. Notice the addition of an A in the first transcript compared to the second one. As a result, the codons, beginning with AAA for lysine, are shifted to the left relative to those in the second transcript. See the position of AAC for asparagine. A second example comes from chromosome 2 of the same assembly. Here you see insertion of a one base pair gap, which is necessary to avoid the TGA stop codon. Like the other discrepancies, this slippage is displayed because we take information from feature notes in the RefSeq records. In this case, the note said that protein translation is dependent on a plus one polyamine induced ribosomal frame shift. That concludes this tutorial. We encourage your feedback, so please use the help menu next to tracks to let us know how we can make Sequence Viewer better. And find help, including a legend for all Sequence Viewer tracks, from this help link.